seen. Athletes are a superstitious bunch. The Nigerian Olympic U23 men's soccer team is no exception. You know, uh, gold medals are not something you just go out and buy. You have to earn it. That's exactly what the Nigerian Dream Team did 20 years ago. They upset Argentina 3-2 at Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, earning the first gold medal for an African soccer team and the title of Cinderella in the 96 Olympic Games. The stars that came out of that team are legends in Nigeria and in Europe when they played in their club, club ball. So that part of it is a, a special tie-in to give the kids coming out today special um, motivation, a little psychological edge that they can go down to Rio and do the same thing. And that's why they're back in Atlanta, training at the Georgia Soccer Park the past two weeks in hopes of regaining some of that metal mojo. The weather is similar to Rio, and the time zones are only an hour off. But practice isn't the only thing on the agenda for the team. Many are making the most of their first trip to the U.S. Apart from the pitch, the people around, friendly, you know, everybody seems to have the smile, wear the smile in their faces, and I think that's also good in America. It's a great experience to have uh, the team come through and get a taste of Atlanta to a historic fourth war. They were able to come have a great team meal at Venkman's. They were able to explore the Beltline, Pont City Market to check out the attractions there. We were able to drive through the connector and have the skyline just in, in great display, the sun coming down and just seeing them light up saying, all right, we're actually in you know, the big city uh, was, was pretty cool. They're also giving back to the community. They held a free soccer clinic for 250 local kids, and they will take center stage tomorrow at Silverback Park in an exhibition game. Rio is the next stop, where winning is the only thing remaining on the agenda. Hopefully, having prepared well and do where uh, we go to Brazil, we want to see if we can you know, do the same thing they did 20 years ago. Melissa Lee, 11 Alive News.